Hey there! This is a mini lecture on electronegativity and hydrogen bonds. Electronegativity is the concept that some atoms have higher affinity for their electrons than other atoms, and that this influences how those electrons are going to be shared when two atoms are joined in a covalent bond. When two atoms have identical or nearly identical electronegativity values, then the electrons in the bond that joins them are shared equally. There's a uniform electron distribution between the two atoms, and we call this a nonpolar bond. Nonpolar bonds, for example, form between two hydrogen atoms, as shown here, and they also form when a carbon is bonded to another carbon. However, when one atom has a higher electronegativity value than the other, then the electrons in that bond spend the majority of time around the atom with the higher electronegativity. We call this a polar bond because the asymmetric distribution of electrons creates two poles, one that's electron rich and is relatively more negative, and one that's electron deficient and is more positive. In this case, the case shown here, hydrogen is bonded to the oxygen, the oxygen has a higher electronegativity, and the electrons from the hydrogen are spending more of their time around the oxygen. And this is indicated by the arrow pointing from the hydrogen to the oxygen. In biological systems, it's nitrogen and oxygen that have the higher electronegativity values. When these are attached to carbon or hydrogen, then we have polar bonds. This polarity is indicated by an arrow when drawing the bond, with the arrowhead pointing in the direction of the more electronegative atom. This is an image of a water molecule, H2O, and we're going to use it to look more closely at polar bonds between oxygen and hydrogen. Remember that hydrogen has only one electron and one proton. This means that when hydrogen is attached to an electronegative oxygen, its only electron is spending most of its time around the oxygen, and this leaves the proton, which carries a positive charge, exposed on the other end of the bond. In water, where both of the hydrogens are attached to the oxygen, you actually have two exposed protons on the surface of the molecule, indicated in this diagram by the partial positive symbols at the top. The bonds are drawn here with a gradation in the blue and with the arrows to indicate again the direction the electrons are pulled. The exposed proton is going to allow for charge-charge or electrostatic interactions to occur. The other thing to notice at this point in the water molecule is the presence of two lone pairs of electrons. These belong to the oxygen and they're not involved in covalent bonds. They do give the oxygen a negatively charged surface on the opposite side of the positively charged surface. Put a bunch of water molecules together and you can probably guess what's going to happen. You're going to have electrostatic attractions as the positives interact with the negatives. But this electrostatic attraction among water molecules is actually special and unique because the negative region on a water molecule is actually a set of two lone pairs of electrons and electrons are what are involved in forming a bond. Now a covalent bond isn't going to form between the negative surface of one molecule and the partially positive surface of another molecule, but a type of bonding does happen, and this is what we call a hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond forms specifically between a polarized hydrogen on one molecule, which is basically an exposed proton on that molecule, and a lone pair of electrons on another molecule. Remember, you're getting an exposed proton any time a hydrogen is attached to an electronegative atom like oxygen or nitrogen. In biological systems, the atoms that have lone pairs are also oxygen and nitrogen. When you have a hydrogen bond formed between two molecules, one of them is called the hydrogen bond donor, and the other one if you can believe it, is called a hydrogen bond acceptor. The donor is the molecule with the polarized hydrogen, and the acceptor molecule has the lone pair of electrons. Water is really cool because it is both a hydrogen bond donor and a hydrogen bond acceptor. It's got both polarized hydrogens and lone pairs of electrons. So, to summarize, a hydrogen bond forms between a molecule with an exposed proton 
in a molecule that has a lone pair of electrons. That's the end of this mini lecture. Thanks for listening.